All right, we're here with Bishop. I'm here with Demetrius. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here with the story, aren't we? Yeah, we're here with the story. And you touched on a lot of great things today about our stories. You was talking about how we have stories that we tell people. Right. But we also have stories that nobody knows. That's true. Um, I guess what's the what it, what, what's the whole, because it's going to be like a series that you're doing. Yes. You showed us three people's stories. One lady uh, what lost her kidney. I didn't even know. I've known her for all that time, mm -hmm. and I never knew that story. Mm -hmm. So that was great. But what, how did this uh, telling our stories? How did this all come about? Well, you know, you get little bits and pieces from from Papa. We call God Papa around here. Mm -hmm. You get little bits and pieces along the way. When you're when you're endeavoring to be to really hear from Him to lead a church, which is what God's called me to do, you really want to be, you really want to hear correctly, right? You want to say, okay, God. But God delivers to you just uh, little, little bits and pieces, and you put that story together. And one of the things that He did for me, I was just, you know, I'm kind of a Facebook guy, and mm -hmm. you know that. I got, you know, Facebook is cool. You know, there's a lot of things going out there. But recently, the Facebook kind of changed their I think they changed their, their setup a little bit. And now at the top, every time I click on it, it says my story, mm. my story. And they have a way that you can do it and you utilize it well. Yep. And so, and so I kept hearing, okay, Lord, my story, but I don't, I want your story. So I was like, I was like going on with the Lord for a couple of months here. I said, it's not about me. We've always said that it's not about me. We should sing a it's song. About it's all about you, Lord. It's all about you, but it is. When you just said it, say that again. It's about we. You got it. Because he, the Bible says that when Jesus was here, the Bible says that God worked with them. Mm. He worked with them. And so, and so, the, and even in the beginning, the very creation, when you go back to the creation story, you know, you go to Genesis, in the beginning, uh, God created, mm -hmm. and and He said, and He created the He created the He created the, all of those those seven days, the earth, everything was, and then He then He came to man, and it, and, the, and if you go back and look at it, it says, and let us make man in our image, mm. us. I looked at that and said, us, who's us? And so I, you go back and look at it, and the original was the word was Elohim. Mm. which Elohim is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And so God being three, yet one, he is an us kind of God in the beginning. Yep. So the story, Jesus, we talked about Jesus, this is Easter Sunday. So we're talking about Jesus and he left his mark. But when Jesus left his mark, the other part of us, Holy Spirit, is the one that came and, and began to do the work. So... So Father began to talk to me. He says, your story is my story. You need to let people tell their stories. And he says, I will show up in that. And so I just we just opened the camera and started to let people talk. And out of that come just amazing, amazing moments. Yeah, it was. And the most fascinating thing I thought about the message is when you said that we all have stories that nobody else knows. And here I am, I know this lady for how long and never knew that story before. So listen, guys, if you're um, on Facebook, he just referenced, uh, go to the Stone NC, right? Mm -hmm. And post your story. Do it in a video Absolutely. format or type it up. Do it in a little blog and post it into the Stone uh, NC Facebook fan page. And we would love to hear your we'd story. We'd love to hear your story. And uh, the only other thing I wanted to ask you, you was talking about the book of Luke today. Mm -hmm. uh, give them a little you know, context that they can sure, take home. So sure. you're talking about the book of Luke today. Mm -hmm. What should and could we take from the book of Luke that you were speaking about well, that, today? The, the passage I was talking about is Luke's gospel, chapter 24. We started around verse 13. Mm -hmm. We're talking about these, these two guys that had witnessed Christ's suffering. Mm. They had they watched it unfold, right? They watched the suffering, the, the scourging and everything. And then... They watched, they watched him go all the way to a cross, and they watched him take his body down and put it in a tomb. And that's the last time they saw him. And they had, they had just, they were, they, they, they knew that he was the Son of God, and they were just perplexed about the whole. Well, who wouldn't be? Man? If it was me, you and I. 
And we saw that unfold and we saw all of that. And the last thing we saw was a tomb and they sealed the tomb, you know, and, and that's another whole story. But they sealed the tomb. And you and I would be grieving over that if we had watched this Jesus heal people. And come on. I mean, it's like it's like it's like even right now, you and I are we just lost a good friend. Yeah. Right. Dr. Don. We love this guy. He was a 74 year old man who's just been like a just a legend in this church. And he was he was just a, just a picture of life. And you know, it's one of these guys that you just think they can never die. Never. Yeah. And so so we're we're grieving in a sense. And now these guys were grieving. But what if it was it, it's actually like if Don if we were just walking down the street, you and I talking about Don's life. Mm -hmm. And so and and the Bible says that they were doing that with Jesus, and Jesus came he, he, he rose from the dead, and he come and just walked along with them. And and the Bible says that their eyes were like close to who he was at that moment. Mm. They didn't recognize him. And there's a lot to be said there theologically. We can talk about that at a length. But the fact is, is they just didn't know it was him. Because when somebody dies, you, you think you, they're gone. Yeah. You think they're gone, you pretty much write that part, uh -huh. of the, that part off. Right? That ain't going to happen. But what if Don and you and I were just talking? Don came up and talked to us, but we couldn't <laughs> see that it was him, and we were just talking to this dude, saying, and and we were saying, "What were you talking about?" You know, uh, man, Friday we were at a great service and this and that. Don't, don't you know anything about it? And they were talking to Jesus, and so so that piece is what we what we understand is that many times in our life we may be really entertaining Christ and not know it. Mm. In situations, situations can talk to you. That's kind of like Does that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. You remember you, the first time I heard about the show Undercover Boss? I think you mentioned it in we, your sermon. We that's kind of like we did it on Easter. That was that's an Easter message. Like that. Yeah, Undercover God. That's so so. That was last Easter. Yeah, I remember that. Wow. And I watched a so couple. So you're one of those guys that come every Easter. No, I'm nah. just kidding. He comes every Sunday, man. <laughs> and so, so I really think that you know the take of that was is that those guys. They didn't recognize who Jesus was until they sat down and broke bread. Mm. And the breaking of the bread, we did communion today. Yep. And when they broke, when and Jesus had a style, and he would he would break, he would bless, he would bless it, Lord, Father of the universe, he would bless it, he would break it, and he and he would give it. And that was the second part of our message. God will, God will bless you, but then He may break you, mm. so He can give you. Because people that are broken are not full of themselves. That's really good. That's good, man. That's really good. And also, it. shout out to uh, listen, guys. If you're ever anywhere in the Cary, uh, what? What's some of the surrounding Cary, Durham, Cary, Durham, Apex, Apex, Lake Forest, Nightdale, Nightdale, Garner, Clayton. Yeah, listen. I used to come from uh, what South Carolina. So you listen. did. This one drove from South Carolina. Yeah. And uh, but you know we're we're centrally located in North Raleigh, and we're we're right here at sixty six twenty five uh, Falls of Noose Road, and we're in the TJ Maxx Shopping Center, back behind the TJ Maxx Shopping Center every Sunday at ten o'clock. Yeah, and we accept right sinners, place. right? We accept, we accept sinners, sinners yeah, we accept totally sinners, yeah. because we all are sinners. So if you want to get race. involved in some type of ministry, but you don't know where to go. Come check us out here at the Stone NC, and uh, you have anything else before we get out? I think I think I just happy Resurrection Day to all of you, and may may Papa's heart just just come and and be with you today. Those of you who might be grieving today, there's some that are grieving today. We we had a loss in our family here, our Christian family, and uh, we had to we had to actually do a, a service on Good Friday. But you know, this is not the end. God's still writing the story, even after you're gone your story still continues through legacy. So let me pray for you. Father, thank you for this Sunday. Thank you for what it means to every Christian in the world, but what it means for those, Lord, who are struggling. There's a God who went all the way to a cross and came and went to a grave, but he resurrected from the dead. And I thank you, Jesus, that you said you ever lived to make intercession for us. So you're praying for us now. So I want you to know, Christ is praying for you today. Happy Easter. God bless you. Amen. Amen.